Bitcoin's running 200% on average annually every year for a decade. So I guess my answer would be, how many years you have in your life? Because if I show you something that's doing 200% a year and the average thing is doing 10% a year and the best thing did 20% a year and you wait five years, you gave up five out of 30. You wait 10 years, you gave up one third of your life. You're going to wait 15 years and give up half your working life. Do I got to do it for 30 years before someone actually says maybe it works? Gold's dead money. Sell your gold. Buy Bitcoin. Because other people are going to sell their gold. And if you wait until you've been front run by all the hedge funds when they dump their gold, you're going to be the last person out. Gold's getting demonetized. That is, I mean, like being demagnetized. It's like there's $10 trillion worth of monetary energy in gold right now. Eventually, it'll only be the central banks that'll want to hold it. I mean, every private rational actor is going to move out of it and move into Bitcoin. Why hasn't gold tripled? Gold is antiquated store of value. It peaked in the 19th century. It's not working. You can see it's not working. And the reason it doesn't work is because you can corrupt it. You can confiscate it. You can hypothecate it and lie about it. And try moving $100 million of gold or $10 million of gold through an airport when you decide you need to change jurisdictions or you know, when a country decides to tax it, how are you going to move it? It'd take you a year and have hundreds of thousands of dollars. So if everybody in the world with money agreed they were going to use gold, the gold standard, it might sort of work. But it's too slow for the 20th, 21st century, probably too slow for the 20th century. So people moved away from it and we've replaced it with something better moves at the speed of light that you can program smart money pure monetary energy you can cling to your gold but it's like clinging to your kodak stock because you like photos instead of buying apple it's like it's like clinging to ram mcnally maps instead of google maps the digital version is going to be a hundred times better and there's just no you can cling to your horses when the automobile comes along it's 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 not a speculative asset it's a digital monetary network which is a million times better than the physical monetary networks and the paper monetary networks it's replacing so if you ignore it you're kind of like ignoring running water and electricity and railroads and airplanes it's technology it's the future look at every asset class for the last six months look at gold look at nasdaq look at s p look at bonds they're all chopping they're not going anywhere. What's working? Bitcoin's working. It's tri it's tripled or quadrupled, but let's say tripled easy. Square is working because Square plugged into Bitcoin's network. Square lets you buy Bitcoin on a mobile app. PayPal's working because Pay is plugged. PayPal's plugged into Bitcoin. It runs on a mobile app. Things that are plugging into this digital monetary network are working. Things that are running on top of traditional fiat euros and dollars they're chopping. And then of course, if you're unlucky enough to have companies or investments in Venezuela, Argentina, Lebanon, Turkey, South Africa, you know, fill in the blank, they're not working at all because the currencies are collapsing. No company can be successful, no matter how competitive it is, if it's generating revenues in a currency which is collapsing or weakening. And so, that means none of those stocks are going to be a store of value if their currencies don't hold value. You're swimming against a 15% annual monetary inflation current, which is in your face. It's, it's a wind blowing in your face right now. Bitcoin is going to grow past $10 trillion and then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 trillion, I think, because it is the digital monetary network and half of all the money on earth wants to be in a monetary network we're looking for a store of value for half of our monetary energy and currencies aren't working, gold is not working. As soon as they start to realize Bitcoin works, they're all gonna jump on it. Governments will be the last ones to, to make this decision, but every rational actor will move before the government. You're gonna see an avalanche of smart money in the investment community, and you're gonna see an avalanche of smart CEOs and you're going to see high net worth individuals. Well, the thing's growing 200% a year. You can't grow much faster than 200% a year, I, I would think. So it's going pretty fast. At some point, um, 
those the the Bitcoin will be it will be wrapped in in a regulation that's at, at parity with the regulations that control cash, bonds, stocks, real estate, uh, AML, KYC regs. I I don't see that as being a problem. It's probably a welcome thing because institutions and and corporations are going to funnel 10x and 100x as much money into it as it normalizes in that way to parity with stocks and bonds. So that that'll probably happen.